Hello and welcome to The Full 42. I'm your host, Chris Amador. Please like and subscribe. This is my review of one of my favorite books of all time, The Undaunting Courage by Stephen Ambrose. I mean, I read this book probably within 10 days. It's a thick book. I, w I read it within 10 days and what a book. I mean, I couldn't wait. Like every any time I took a break, I went to read the book. I, anytime I was like, when, when I remember reading this during the winter time, let my car warm up a little bit, I read the book. When I got, I remember one time I got home, I couldn't wait to open the book up and read it. Even though it was cold outside, I still had to read it right away. And I read it during, when I was eating my meals, I read it during, like I didn't do anything, didn't go out, didn't go anywhere, except for reading the book. It was riveting. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. And without, the main character, the one who made this happen, besides Lewis and Clark, was Pocahontas. And I'm so glad that they really gave her a spotlight in this because without her, there would have been no Manifest Destiny. I mean, Thomas Jefferson was the one who spearheaded this. He was the one that got this going. He was the one that funded this. And he was also asking the people, the explorers, to go across America to bring back samples of insects and animals and so he can look at them and, and understand them as not only, like, well, as a scientist would. So he was incredible. But Lewis and Clark had this expedition. They, it took them, you know, long, long, long time. They went through, like, from the inclement, inclementic, yeah, you know what I mean. Through the weather, going over mountains, going up and down. And when they finally get there, it was just like, wow. And what they saw when they got to Oregon, um, it was incredible. I mean, I've driven across country a couple of times across America on a motorcycle, on a, on, a, on, a, on a car, and I'm just in awe about how, like, what, like, I can just do this in a car, get over there, and that's fine. But what they went through, I, I just smile every time I drive across America, and especially the route that they took to get to the East Coast. Um, I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. But the end, the end was really heartbreaking. And it's not so much the fact that, you know, everyone knows that they made it across and they came back, but it was really heartbreaking for what, for either Lewis or for Clark. Read and you'll find out why. Um, because when something like that, when they reach the peak, the, the pinnacle of such successful mission, what else is there? So, but like you will know every character, everything they went through, the, the struggles, the sweat, the tears, blood, everything they went through with dealing with like this wild environment and how they dealt with uh, like bears and how they dealt, dealt with getting um, and finding this mission. So I can't, I, I can't, please, please, I beg you, listen to an audio, read the book, go to the library, read this book. You won't be disappointed. Absolutely fantastic.